Hello and welcome to Quick Bites, the show where we show you how to make a simple meal in a short amount of time. Up on today's menu, gourmet hors d'oeuvre cheeseburgers. Here's what you'll need. All right, so for these uh, gourmet mini cheeseburgers, we have a lot of ingredients, but uh, it'll pay off in the end. We have a tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce, some black pepper, and some salt, and this will go in for seasoning the meat. Then for some of our toppings, I have some pre-cooked bacon, some lettuce, some pepper jack cheese, some sliced tomatoes, some shredded cheddar cheese, and for a sauce, I have some mayonnaise, some ketchup, and some mustard, which we're gonna mix together. I also have, for the bun, some sliced baguette, and half a pound of ground beef. All right, so we're gonna start first by seasoning our beef. Cue laugh track, if you must. I wasn't gonna make it say hello, because it's not a, hello. You get it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our salt, our pepper, and some Worcestershire sauce. Now you can't be afraid to get dirty. We're gonna go ahead and use our hands to mix it up. Feels like brains. Now that our beef is properly seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and form it into some patties. Now these are mini cheeseburgers that need to fit on baguette bread. So we're just gonna kinda of take about a meatball size or so, and these are gonna shrink up a little bit when you cook them. Patty size, hello. Now these are some uh, great ideas for appetizers um, when you're having guests over, especially for you know, sporting events and stuff. Let's go fire up the grill pan. The grill pan. Grilling indoors, especially when it's negative nine like it is today. It's a good idea to not go up and fire out your charcoal grill till it's nice outside. You can go ahead and use a grill pan. Plus, with the size of these burgers, it's much better to fry them in a pan than out on an open grate because they will fall through the cracks. So I'm gonna bring it to uh, between medium and high. So uh, medium squared. 11. 11. The stove goes to 11. Go ahead and spray it with some olive oil or pan. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our patties on the grill. It's a good sound. Now, a thing I found is that people tend to over season burgers and they try to do too much to it. Salt and pepper is really all you need. I'm adding a little bit of Worcestershire sauce because I'm pan frying. I don't want the burgers to get dried out. So I say once they get going, you should only have to flip them once. All right, and while those are finishing up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce for the burger. Now, uh, some fast food restaurants, I won't name names, um, call this their special sauce, but uh, it's essentially just equal parts of ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. There you go, special sauce. While I'm waiting for those to finish, I'm just gonna go ahead and prep these um, buns, if you will, for their burgers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and while the burgers are almost finished, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of cheese to these so that the cheese will melt. Now you can use all different kinds of cheeses. I have here some cheddar. I'm also gonna put on some pepper jack as well. Be careful when you're cooking uh, greasy meat in an open pan because the grease tends to kind of fly out. That's why I'm wearing this apron to protect my clothes. I'll go ahead and pull these off. As you can see, they've gotten a little bit smaller in size, um, which is how they should be. And I've turned off the heat about a minute ago, just to kind of let the grease uh, cool down there and stop from flying out and uh, the burgers to cool down a little bit. Delicious. It's time to assemble our burgers. Now you can do this a variety of different ways. Um, I've seen them where the, the chef just will prepare the plain burgers and have a variety of cheeses and a variety of toppings and guests can build their own mini burgers. Or um, you know, if you only have a limited amount of ingredients instead of giving the guests the option, you can go ahead and prepare them for them. Um, so here we go, we're gonna take our burgers, place them on our buns. And a nice variation you can do with this, instead of using a French baguette, is you can go ahead and get a pretzel uh, bun or a pretzel baguette, and it'll kind of give you a different flavor to go along with your burger. And I have a couple different toppings here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some lettuce to some of these. It's kind of all in these little amounts, but it, uh, you know, they're cute, I guess, cute little burgers. Some tomato. Some bacon. Like I said, you know, different types of toppings you can add. Uh, scrambled egg is really popular right now with a lot of gourmet chefs with burgers. Um, you can add some sprouts. 
uh, different kinds of lettuce. You could use uh, arugula or uh, some spinach. You can add some feta cheese. You could do barbecue sauce. You could really do anything you want that you do with a normal burger. But with these mini size, you can really have a wide variety of different types of burgers. All right, there you go. Delicious gourmet mini cheeseburgers. I'm Joey DeFranco. This has been Quick Bites. And for more information on the show, go to www.quickbites.wordpress.com. You can share recipes and ask me questions. We'll see you around.